welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks from Gainey Titan. We're on Erlenberg. Standard battle. We're I'm in the Comet. Uh, this is a tier 9 battle. And we are bottom tier. And this is actually one of the highlights of my um, search for the third mark of excellence. Now we're not terribly bottom tier. Well, there's a nice handful. There's a good what, five uh, tier um, 9 tanks. On both teams, but there aren't a lot of tier 8s. However, if you're running against the tier 9s, you're against the tier 9s, and you're in serious trouble in a tier 7 tank, or can be, depending on how it goes. So I thought, right, well, we're going to go up. Initially, I thought I'd run up along the outside um, edge of the hill here, but then I saw the two light tanks going off, and I says, well, they're going to beat me, and there's no way I'm going to get in any early spotting on these ones. So I'll come up to the ridge line here. I just peek the ridge line and see, see if there's enemy tanks making a determined assault. Now, there's a light tank has already reached the um, edge of the hill here, Focus. and it's spotting our advanced tanks. But he doesn't seem to have a lot of support. The lichen and the rest of them seem to be just hanging back in the houses just past the river. And I'm thinking to myself, they're hanging back in the houses just past the river. We should be pushing hard. Because you can just come into the low ground here. You're going to be safe from the tanks down at those houses across the river. The only real danger to me right now is the lichen. Uh, now, I'm probably better off if I'd stayed back along the inline. line. Because it might have just a little bit more protection on my lower front plate, but I don't think he's putting shots through the lower front plate. I think he's putting it straight through the side too. He's got a gun that's as good as mine, and he's got an auto loader. So he can just knock out a lot of high rate of fire very quickly. However, I did get one tank to come in to support me, and that meant that I'm alive at the end of the fight. Things were not spotted anymore now. With the Lycan gone, the enemy of nobody. We can't see up this far. Um, whereas we can see them if they stick out. Now, in height, my own opinion, the Lycan should have stayed up there. As soon as he realised he had no support, he should have crossed over the ridge line, taken to the end line, and just headed, headed west across back across the river as quickly as he came. And he'd probably have made it too. He might have taken some damage, but he would have made it. Well, you know, most of the time, anyway. So I'm now across, because what I want to do is I want to get into position to shoot these guys that are down by the um, by the water line, by the river, when they're presenting vulnerable sides of the turrets and things like that to me. So I'm just taking opportunities here as they come, and I fired at the T1, T254 one and he's obviously looking for me now. So I don't really want to give him the chance uh, to shoot me. Um... Especially since against the front of his turret, I don't have a great. As you can see, the thing was just orange. But he turns again, and we put another round into him. So he backs out of the way. Now, he's more hold down there, and I can pull back. So if I pull back here, I should be out of his line of fire uh, fairly quickly. However, I don't think he actually responded that time. We're going to shift location slightly. See if I can get a better angle. Now there's just the IS-3. Now I don't think really any front chance to go through the front of the IS-3. But I'm going to sort of send one. His direction is flying over the top of his head. But I was hoping that I'd be enough dropping it. That I'd be able to put it through the plate at the top. But the T-54-1 has pulled out. So I'm going to put. He's showing side and flank to me. If I can track him. No. He's just switched the angle. Put one into the Comet. Comet's just after driving into the river and um, he's going to start losing hit points. He's lost a lot of hit points from the fall. T54 E1 is tracked and he's got the turret turned sideways. So again, put a couple rounds into me. Probably has his tracks back up at this stage. That's round missed. So we've 1900 combined damage at this point, which is uh, enough to see me make some progress. And therefore, I can start to take a few bit more risks. Now, the artillery is relocating up behind me as well, which means that I should be able to get some direct support from the artillery. There's a light tank after going 
sailing out to the middle of our guys, and there we didn't spot the enemy artillery. So we start pulling some rounds into the M55, 50, 53, 55, and then a wild challenger appears. And the challenger, I was hoping to get rid of the enemy artillery. One more shot would do it, but the challenger has come in and spotted me. And has put a round into me. So I'm breaking contact because I'm just pulling out open the distance. The artillery just dropped one on the challenger because he was sitting there for just a little bit too long. Gun handling on the challenger was poor, which is why I got away with it, I think, there without getting a second shot in. And then the fact that the challenger was sitting there in the open with artillery in the in play. But that shot um, turned this from a reasonable game where I've done okay, which he did pretty, would be doing pretty well now, into uh, what ultimately turns into an ace tanker game. It was the artillery support that put me in the position to sort of capitalize on this and push forward. Because now we have another comet. Um, it's very definitely a different comet, because he's been intact up until this point in time. Artillery is still in play nearby, so I don't want to push too far forward. I don't really want to be spotted. And if I do, I just start pulling back. The comet's been spotted again. And that, let's say, is arty again. And the SU12254, that's the other. The RT has finally died, the enemy RT. And again, I'm going to pull back. Because my chief value here is actually in providing spotting. And I'm not, I don't have a lot of support either. I think that's... Uh, the SU12254 has just taken another hit. And RT is targeting it. That's going way over. There are very few enemy tanks left at this point there challenging for our cap circle but they're not really going to have a chance because we've just too many tanks alive and too many on the ridge line and as long as they're that uh, cap circle is under the guns for the ridge line anyway so as long as they're spotted they're pretty much uh not going to make it now we've got a guy pushing forward i don't know if we have the strength in tanks actually to take the cap circle at this point in time but I thought I'd push forward and support them anyway, because the thing is that uh, I want to get the, again, the assistance damage, the spotting damage, the direct damage I could do, although KV-5. It's going to be a tough uh, proposition to deal with from the front, and the um, Tier 9 tank destroyer is coming over to join in the fun as well, because he's decided to sit up on that ridge line being plinked at by artillery. is no kind of fun at all. So we just change direction, there is another comet, or is it the same comet, did the first comet survive, I don't know how many comets is in this game, seems to be quite a lot, however this one is not in great health, so we've th he's fleeing the enemy, of actually, we have now taken the castle, so in hindsight I could probably pull back a little bit further, that comet gets taken out and I should have actually kept driving. Uh, the pullback there probably cost me my tank. The SU12254 misses with the first shot, but he's going to get me on the next one. He's taking another tank out of the game, however, he's bleeding away hit points constantly. The KV5 Gronovich is in the middle of the cap circle where he shouldn't be because he's just too exposed, and he's going to have tanks coming out at all directions. And there's light tanks going on the tier 9 and artillery as well, and it's only a matter of time. And he's gone also. So the whole thing evaporates up pretty quickly at the end. So I finish up with like 2,224 regular damage, 2,511 assistant damage from spotting and whatnot. Mostly from spotting, I would say. And this yields me a perfect, an ace tanker. We still only have, because at this point I was much lower than the 94%, we still only have a, um, just 93.4, a patrol duty and a confederate medal. Uh, from the amount of assisted damage we did, we came number one by experience. This was one of the high points of my search for excellence in the third mark of excellence in the Comet.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like, comment, share. It really helps the channel out. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.